Well, Sheriff, I just wanted to ask you about, uh, obviously, the, the announcement of uh, of uh, Tom Homan uh, as the borders are under uh, President-elect Trump. Uh, do you have an initial reaction? Have you ever had an interaction with him or do you know of him? And, and what is your reaction to, to him being hired as the borders are? I never have um, had any kind of a communication with him, but I know he used to be in the Border Patrol, border patrol which is good. And I'm very happy because I used to be in the Border Patrol, too. So a person like that is, is very essential to have in that department. He knows all the all the immigration laws and everything. So I feel very comfortable. I know that there's a lot of immigrants here that uh, are illegally. They didn't go through the proper uh, process, and they, they should not be here. You know, I mean, there's people that will know their intentions. So, yeah, we, we need to have uh, this country free of any kind of danger. Um, there's been a lot of reaction to his uh, kind of hardline stances, the zero to tolerance um, when it comes to the border. Is that how you think it should be handled, zero tolerance when it comes to passing, not passing, entering in this country or, or whatnot? Yeah, exactly. You know, when I used to be in the border, border patrol, I retired from border patrol maybe 15 years ago, and we had zero tolerance several times. You know, we had uh, not as bad as this time that uh, a lot of immigrants came through here. and um, But whenever there was no control, and I think it was during the Reagan administration, but there was no control. The, you know, the immigrants were just crossing the river and 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 chasing us, so we could give them the little paper to go for uh, in front of an immigration slate, immigration judge later on. Uh, they would go with a the, the president would send a, a you know a, not a law but a policy saying zero tolerance. And I always said this from the beginning of this problem. I always said that the, the solution would be zero, zero tolerance, uh, and, uh, and that's what I, I I agree with that. Why is the zero tolerance policy better? It's better because it should be uh, should be the process that uh, we have here the, in the United States. You know, they they we have you know when we had that pre uh, uh, problem with the immigrants, we had people that were still waiting to be admitted that had that apply, had applied like two years ago and everything three years ago. They were still waiting to be admitted uh, lawfully. While these people, the other these immigrants, were just crossing, and automatically they were admitted here in the United States. And uh, and I heard a lot of complaints from this uh, citizens uh, that uh, wanted to come over here uh, as uh, resident aliens, but but they had to wait to be uh, admitted. And the ones that were crossing just like that, it was just no 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 control. Everybody was coming in, all kinds of immigrants from other countries, and uh, we're in the border here, and we don't know what's, what was coming in. You know, we didn't know. Uh, if some were here with bad intentions or what, but um, still tolerance to me it was always the answer for, for this problem. Um, he's also going to be tasked with carrying out uh, President-elect Trump's um, mass deportation mm -hmm. um, movement, I guess. There's a lot of Hispanic and Latino people that are very concerned that they're that they're right. going to just be uprooted um, out of nowhere. Uh, do you share some of that concern or what, what is your stance on, on the mass deportation aspect of this? Well, uh, if they are here legally, yes, it should be done. Uh, the people that cross back, especially the ones that cross here in December, those are the ones that just came in through, through here just like nothing. Uh, I know that we the, the, have people that have been here since they were babies. They grew up and they uh, they actually, uh, they caused no problems or anything like that. I, I think that they, those people should be at least given the chance to, uh, you know, to, Proved that they were here, they became good citizens. Um, some were already maybe uh, professionals, who, you know, they're uh, helping the country in, in uh, better, uh, either paying their taxes or whatever. Those are the ones that maybe they can give them the chance to see if they can stay here and and, and apply for uh, for resident aliens. Um, during Trump's first administration, there was a. a, a some concern and in some uh, instances where families were separated, the, the parents uh, were maybe illegal and the children were citizens. Um, mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Homan said in a recent interview, like, okay, well, the kids can go with them. Is that a, a certain solution that you think is acceptable under this administration or would you like to see something else? Well, you know, uh, uh, that's, that's part of the, uh, 
training that we had at the academy of the border as i was at the academy it sounds that it sounds like when we were training they would say that you know they had an option that kids would stay here or go back to to their country with their parents that we went to the academy with that and uh it is it's, it's not a solution but it's an option if they have maybe if they have uh, uncles that they that uh are here legally they can stay with them but it's an option it, it, they can go with their parents or stay here. Uh, it, it's something that we were trained at the academy to, to go by. How do you think having um, Mr. Homan as the borders are instead of the what you've had for the last four years? How do you think that's going to help you as a as a border sheriff? It'll be great. Uh, but hopefully he he'll, he'll come over here. I think I think we could understand each other because because he has the same training as I did, and I think that uh, I'll be very comfortable with him. Uh, and I, and I would ask him to see if they can help us to uh, have more uh, more uh, control or, uh, on the border, uh, have more uh, asking for more help with uh, equipment, technology, so to help prevent all this uh, illegal entry of immigrants and the, the, the drugs. So are you are you anticipating or expecting things to get significantly better under the next administration? Well, I'm I'm hoping, of course, yes, I'm hoping that everything would be better. It would be better for all law enforcement officers, especially uh, the county sheriffs. You know, we all the ones that the ones that are on the border, we're the ones that uh, are right on the on the on the front, and uh, and we're hoping that we can control. Especially the concern is a pro my priority is the security of the county, the drugs. It, it's very important to see if we can uh, eliminate that too. It's going to be hard, and but at least we can try. Gotcha. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Sheriff? No, nothing. I I, I have no negative uh, thoughts, anything like that. I'm just uh, I was selected by the people to do my job, and that's what I'm going to do. You know, to keep the security of the county here of the, of, of of my uh, constituents, and of course uh, to protect uh, the the U.S. from any terrorists or something like that.